Perkele, let's finish black metal. This is Bloodhammer, one of the more underground names from the scene. And uh, there's a reason if you don't know the band, even though they have been here for almost quarter of a century, that is almost 25 years. This is their 2021 release, which comes in a rather unusual fashion, a Slimcase MCD, which you can see by the cuts and very, very minimal design. I mean, it's all black with glossy paper and that's of it. So you might remember this kind of packaging from singles back in the 90s. Not very typical these days, saves space and all that stuff. And if you don't have lyrics or whatsoever, makes kind of a sense, but also looks kind of a stripped down version if you ask me. But once again, if you don't have anything else but the cover and the track list, why bother? So Bloodhammer started in 1998 and soon after that they started to put out EPs and whatever. And I remember their first EP, Ancient Kings, being a really good one. And uh, since that they have only done three full albums, 2003, 2006 and 2017. But as you can probably see here from the Metal Archive site, I mean there are plenty of splits and EPs and all that stuff. So they have been always rather active, even though a little bit less active throughout the past few years versus the first initial release. I mean, since 2017, this is the first release in like four years. Uh, what makes Bloodhammer interesting is that they have always been more on the primitive side of black metal. They have never been about fancy keyboard setups or going majestic with a lot of melodies or orchestrated things. It's more like, fuck that shit, we're going back to basics, deliver you some old school uh, black metal riffs, and if you don't like it, fuck off and die. And that's what is, in my opinion, still going on with Hinki Tähti Daka, uh, Spirit Behind the Stars, or Beyond the Stars, if you want a certain kind of a translation for it. And this actually has a little bit of ambient parts on it, which seems first a little bit weird when it comes to Bloodhammer, but then again, you kind of get used to it rather soon, and then it just sounds... Well, Bloodhammer. Bloodhammer, that could be one of those, uh, I don't know, offsprings of, you know, Bathory and the like. That is very much leaning towards very basic old school black metal riffs with rather harsh and crude uh, production, which then again, totally complements the music. Also, you have those kind of raspier black metal vocals, which are good and also, once again, fit the music perfectly. Now, if you're looking for something new and phenomenal or something avant-garde-ish in this kind of a band, you're totally listening to the wrong kind of band. If you're, however, listening to very basic, stripped-down, crude black metal, like, in my opinion, a lot of that should be. No clean vocals and no atmospheric parts that seem to go forever and forever. Well, this is different kind of an animal. I like Bloodhammer because it's very much back to basics and it doesn't do fancy gimmicks in order to lure you in. They are all about simple songs with simple riffs which work because, well, they are right to the point. And uh, that's pretty much of it. You will find links provided to give you a little bit more insight. But as you might have noticed, this is not exactly a band that is all over social media. So you definitely need to do a little bit underground digging to find music of it and all that stuff. However, there are some albums or releases which are out there for your listening, but if you want to listen to this particular one and you're not ready to buy the CD blindly, then you have to do a little bit of digging. It might be there, it might be not, but at least now you know what we're talking about. So in case you missed Bloodhammer previously, now it's a good chance to give, it a, give the band a chance. It's a good one, so give it a go. Cheers.